In this Star Wars Outlaws and Jedi Survivor news update video, I will be sharing with you what enhancements, or rather downgrades, the PS5 Pro gives these Star Wars games. Before we do get into today's news though, make sure you do subscribe to this channel so you won't miss any future Star Wars games news updates, including ones for Jedi Survivor and Outlaws. So the PS5 Pro has arrived, it is out right now for a staggering amount of money and it has some merits to it but also it's not completely necessary. The reviews have come out and told people you really don't need this device especially at this price point. That said even though I don't own a PS5 I'm interested in Star Wars games and their technology and I was looking forward to seeing what this console can do for those that are going to be playing on this console whether it be Star Wars Outlaws or Jedi Survivor. They are the only two Star Wars games that have received day one enhancements on the PS5 Pro. Star Wars Battlefront, Battlefront 2, Fallen Order and Squadrons won't be receiving any sort of improvement. That said, Lego Star Wars The Skywalker Saga now runs at a native 4K resolution, so the blurriness has now gone. So both of these games are being touted by PlayStation as PS5 Pro Enhanced, which would assume that there is no downgrades, everything that is changed is better, but based on what my own subscribers and other people are experiencing, it's actually worse. Now, there are some improvements, which I will get into, but it is very interesting, at least at the moment in time, that it's not entirely all good news. Both of these games don't require a patch to actually get PS5 Pro Enhanced, it's all being done on a system level and the developers will have done stuff in previous updates. Let's start with Jedi Survivor because this is the only game of the two that received official communication from the studio about what actually is PS5 Pro enhanced for this game. So the EA Star Wars team say that today marks the release of the PS5 Pro and as a result we have announced that Jedi Survivor has received a series of exciting optimizations for the new version of the console. This enhanced version features a variety of graphical and technical improvements that will make it a must play experience for those who are picking up the console. They detail exactly what has been enhanced. So quality mode is still 4K resolution and has the ray tracing. However, it has now been bumped up from 800p being upscaled to 2160p, which is native 4K. So no upscaling going on there. And it still will run at 30 frames per second. As for performance mode, the one that most people use, it still maintains 60 frames per second or at least is targeting 60 frames per second, but it will run at a higher resolution of 1800p, which will be upscaled from 1200p. And it also has ray traced occlusion and reflections as well. So that's the mode that has seen the biggest improvement and is definitely the one that you should be using. Before we get into the drama, let's talk about Star Wars Outlaws. So whilst Massive have not publicly communicated what exactly has been changed or improved, we do have some people that have shared some stuff based on what they've played. So this is coming from pressstart.au and they basically said that Star Wars Outlaws on the base PS5 has three modes. We know it already has those various visual modes, but when you play the game on PS5 Pro, it compresses all of those three into one mode. So there is one singular mode. It has the 60 frames per second of performance mode with an increased internal resolution making use of what quality mode is. So it's basically merging performance and quality mode together. And basically both of these games can have the SSR, PlayStation Spectral Super Resolution, the new machine learning temporal upscaler. That's where the good news ends unfortunately. Essentially, PSSR is creating an unstable image. You can see flickering and just issues with the image. It does not look good. It makes the whole thing look worse in both games. A subscriber of mine, Lee, went onto Twitter to say that it's awful in terms of its instability on PS5 Pro, especially with foliage flickering and textures breaking. At first, some people were complaining that this is an Outlaws problem. Then I saw people complaining it's a Jedi Survivor problem. But Lee and many others are using PSSR in other games, such as Sony's own God of War Ragnarok, and the same issues are persistent here as well. When using TAA, it's fine. When using PSSR, that's when the textures start to have issues and it's flickering and all that sort of stuff. Some people are speculating that the day one update 
may have broke some PSSR implementation on various games because there was an update for some people. Perhaps that's the reason why. So this is a major blemish on the PS5 Pro and these games as well. It makes the games look bad, literally and figuratively. But also, I just think that this needs to be resolved pretty quick because there are a lot of people that are checking out Outlaws for the first time and they are having all these visual issues. It seems like this is a PlayStation issue rather than a game issue and the developers may only be able to do so much. They may not be able to do anything at all to alleviate this, especially when it takes time to sort this out. Whereas Sony may be able to tweak some stuff with PSSR on a console software level that resolves these issues faster than what the developers can do it in their own game. From what I also understand, there is no way of only installing the PS5 version and not the PS5 Pro version. So even if you sold your base PS5 and you only have a PS5 Pro now and you want to do away with all of the shimmering and whatnot, you can't because there is no way of using that version. As for Star Wars Outlaws specifically, we do know that Title Update 4 will be releasing in just a couple of weeks time on November 21st. So there is a possibility with that patch, this sort of issue is resolved, which would be great, but who knows? And again, it might just be a system level thing rather than something that the developer can sort out on their own. Respawn have released a few patches for the last gen version of Jedi Survivor. So, so if this does need to be resolved by the developers themselves, then I'm sure they will get a patch out, just given how poorly it is done on PS5 Pro. And also, Jedi Survivor was one of the main games that Sony were promoting for PS5 Pro. They had Respawn do a little bit of an interview, I already covered that, and they worked closely with Respawn to get this sorted, so it's a bit of a mockery, to be honest. If you have a PS5 Pro, I'd love to hear your thoughts, or are you considering getting one? For me personally, it doesn't really make much sense. I think a lot of people are waiting for GTA 6 and will pick one up then because that probably will be the best place to play the game before it does release on PC a year or so after the console launch. There might not even be a new Star Wars game for another year or longer, so this is all that we're going to be getting on PS5 Pro for the foreseeable future when it comes to Star Wars games at least. It would be so interesting to see if... Battlefront 2 and Jedi Fallen Order and Squadrons got updates, but of course, would never happen. But if you do have an Xbox Series X console, you can actually have an FPS boost on Battlefront 2015 and Battlefront 2, up to 120 frames per second, which is really cool. If you enjoyed this video, please do drop a like to help support the channel. Subscribe so you don't miss any future news updates on these games. And if you did miss any of my previous videos, click on the playlist on the screen right now, and I shall see you in my next video. Goodbye.